Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jay Moore. I'm the founder of the group, The Ordinary Christian. And today I wanna to talk with you about two things that every Christian should do when they're going through difficult times. That's right, two things every Christian should do when they're going through difficult times. First of all, let's start off with a Bible verse. James chapter one, starting with verse two, it says, consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result that you may be perfect, complete, lacking in nothing. In this passage of scripture, it talks about going through difficult times, trials, tribulations, and it says when you encounter them. What that implies very quite simply is this. It's not if you're gonna go through difficult times, but when you go through difficult times. You see, as Christians, we're not immune to not having hard times, difficult times, struggles, difficulties. Matter of fact, the Bible tells us in this world, you will have tribulations. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when you're gonna go through tough times. So when those times happen, how do you respond? When those things happen, how do you handle it? Well, there's two things that this Bible verse gives us. Two important things. First of all, we are to consider them a certain way. Notice how it starts off. Consider it all joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials. Consider it. Consider it how? How am I supposed to think of these trials, these tribulations, these difficulties, these hard times that I'm going through? He says to consider them pure joy. Pure joy. Be joyful about them. Consider them joyful. That they're good for you. That they're excellent for you, that these are things that you need, that our loving Heavenly Father has allowed us to go through these things because He has something good He wants to produce in us through them. We we'll consider them all joy. Most of the time, we don't consider them pure joy. We consider them terrible. We consider them horrible. We consider them something that we should never have experienced. But for a Christian, God wants us to change our attitude, to change the way we think about these difficult things. They're not bad. They're not horrible. They're not terrible. They're actually good for us to consider them pure joy. This is good for us. Matter of fact, there's another Bible verse that says, uh, all things work for good to them that love the Lord and called according to his purposes. All things work for good, not some things or most things, but for Christians, all things work for good, including those difficult times, those hard times. So the first thing, and I gotta tell you, I'm going through a tough time this week. It's been a rough time at work this week. Uh, and today, God just reminded me, man, change your attitude. These aren't bad things happening to you. I'm using them to work good things out in you and through you. So change your attitude. Second thing, it says, consider it all joy when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect results that you may be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. Notice what it says, and let endurance have its perfect result. Stop fighting it. Stop fighting what God is trying to do in you. Stop fighting the work that God is working in you. He's shaping you, he's changing you, he's forging you, he's creating in you a character that's godlike. We gotta get to the place where we're no longer fighting it, but now we're submitting ourselves over to the work that God wants to do in us. Part of it is to change our response. Instead of whining and complaining and bemoaning, oh, this horrible thing has happened to me again. We are to consider it all joy, knowing that the testing of our faith produces endurance. We're to, we're to be joyful, not bemoaning it, because we know what God is trying to accomplish in our life. He's trying to test our faith, not to see if we pass or fail, but to create in us more endurance, more strength into us. The only way your faith in God is going to go stronger is by going through the fire of the trial and the tribulations. And so we got to sit in there. Think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It says that they were delivered out of the fiery furnace. 
that God delivered them out of the fiery furnace. Well, before they could be delivered out of the fiery furnace, they had to be thrown into the fiery furnace. Well, God wants to deliver you out of the trials and the tribulations you're going through. But before he can do that, he has to allow you to be thrown into that trial or that tribulation. And then you get to experience his deliverance. And when you experience that deliverance, your faith in him gets stronger. You're saying, well, look at what God just did. Look at how God took care of this. And your faith becomes stronger in him. So submit yourself to the working. Allow it to have its perfect results in your life. Why? So that we will be perfect, complete, lacking in nothing, that we have everything that we need spiritually to be the children of God he has called us to be. And listen to me, you can't be that person of God, that child of God. We can't become the people of God if we're fighting always to avoid and not handle the trials and the tribulations that come our way. All right, I hope this video encourages you. Take care. God bless. We'll see you the next time on The Ordinary Christian.